News Hub can reveal Sir Bill English was signed on to head a half a million dollar review of Kayanga Order through a couple of simple text messages with the Minister weeks before Chris Bishop even got Cabinet's sign off for the review. Kainga Order's response to the scathing report says they were hardly consulted. And News Hub has got hold of text messages showing it was the Minister's preference that they had no involvement. Political editor Jenna Lynch has this exclusive report. Billboard duty with Sir Bill English and Chris Bishop back in 2017. Six years on, out with the staple guns and in with the calculators. Sir Bill appointed to undertake a review of Kainga Order, which when completed was highly critical. Kainga Aura is underperforming and not financially viable. And News Hub can reveal how the former PM came to head the half million dollar probe we've obtained the text exchange. The first contact is direct from Sir Bill. Chris, will there be a review of KO? Bishop replies, we're going to do an independent review into finances, performance, cost, etc. Commence at ASAP, hopefully get terms of reference and reviews sorted before Christmas. Sir Bill said, I could help with that. The response from Bishop, excellent. Let's do that. Did you follow proper process in appointing Bill English? Absolutely. The let's do this message was sent on the 29th of November. The review was only taken to the Cabinet 100 Day Plan Committee to sign off two weeks later on December 13. You said excellent, let's do that before you even took it to Cabinet. Yeah, well, that, that I was expressing interest in uh, getting him to do the review. It doesn't sit right. And everything suggests that this was a stitch-up and that the outcomes were predetermined. A day after Bishop gave the green light, Sir Bill issued some terms of his own. I will help if it's a short, sharp review. No public submissions or field trips. Bishop agrees, saying, definitely not. Three people, you and two others. He goes on to say, no involvement from KO. Independent. To reiterate, the housing minister saying there would be no involvement from Kainga Order in the review of Kainga Order. Did he advise Sir Bill English not to involve Kainga Order in the review? Uh, no, and they were involved in the review. He met with Kaiang Aura. How on earth can you review an organisation without actually talking to the organisation? He didn't want an extended period of consultation and roadshows around the country. Uh, they did, as part of the review, go and talk to a whole range of people from developers, construction people. They talked to Kaiang Aura themselves extensively. Except in a letter to Sir Bill ahead of the release of his final report, the acting chair of Kaiang Aura's board said there was relatively limited engagement with our organisation, leading to some review conclusions appearing to be based on analysis informed by anecdotes. Well, that's their perspective, it's not mine. It's an absolute shocker. The whole thing's a, a stitch-up, no doubt. Do you see how it looks like you've just appointed someone who's going to tell you what you want to hear? Uh, I, I reject that utterly. Uh, Sir Bill is a former Prime Minister, he's a former uh, Minister of Finance, deeply experienced in the housing system. The report should be called Bill's Reckons. Kainga Order's letter to Sir Bill also took exception with a number of the report's findings, alleging there were many factual errors. Their list of errors is three pages long. OK, Jenna, is this type of appointment process normal? It's certainly not unusual for politically like-minded ex-politicians to jump in and review things. Think Sir Michael Cullen and the tax working group under the last administration. And arguably people like Sir Michael Cullen and Sir Bill English are possibly best placed to do these reviews given their intricate knowledge of government finances, the structure of these organisations and the political landscape in which their reviews are going to land. Now while on the face of it this might look a little bit chummy the way this was jacked up, uh, I'm told that there is no real official rule book as to how ministers are to undertake these appointments. It's just the responsibility of the minister to appoint someone to the role and that can be however they like. That message that Chris Bishop sent to Sir Bill English saying that there would be no involvement of Kayang Order, Chris Bishop has told me that what he meant was he wanted it to be an independent review. He didn't want the officials from Kayang Order investigating themselves. It's perhaps unsurprising that Kainga Order has hit back at that review. It was hardly complimentary about them. I reached out to Sir Bill English late this afternoon to see if he wanted to respond uh, to any of the uh, assertions that Kainga Order had made in that letter and as yet he's had nothing further to add. Jenna Lynch live at Parliament. Thanks very much.